again. It's a red stick. Welcome back to another video guys, I've got something really fun today, I had so much fun with these So these are the Model 1's new colour cube, they did bring colour cubes out a couple of months ago but These are brand new, these are still your solid cream gel polish, obviously look at that packaging Are you ready for this guys, look at this, have you ever seen anything like it in your life? It's like a record, an old fashioned record player And the colour cube is the vinyl record isn't that cool? I love quirky stuff like this. I do. So, I've got a couple of them. This one is called Cozy Wonder. Have a quick look at the colours. I'm not going to swatch them or anything. I'm just going to go straight in and do a couple of little Halloween nail art mini compilation. Look at all them colours. We've got glittery ones, holographic. And it's got a little QR code there that you scan on TikTok. And you can listen to the music. I didn't want to play it in case I get copyrighted. But um, you can screenshot that and scan it. Go and listen to it. So they come with these little compact brushes as well. They're branded. Really cool. Really good brushes these. I've, I've used these before. And you just use the lid as the handle. Like that. And you end up with a full size brush. Aren't they cool? <laughs> I'm well impressed. I love stuff like this. So I'll quickly show you the colours in this second one. Obviously it's exactly the same. This one's called Sweet Dream. And this is full of really bright colours. This is a good autumn one, I think. Fantastic for autumn. We've got more glittery ones in there and holographic. <gasps> I love these. I'll leave links below to these. I've got a discount code for model ones as well. I'll leave that below. This one's got a black and a white. And that other white I'm pointing at there is a milky white. Um, it had a milky pink in that one as well. I've not swatched all the colours. I really don't need to um, And I've also got their top and base set which comes with a matte top coat I didn't used to like their matte top coat, but it's not not the same formula as it used to be uh, And it's actually an alright matte top coat now. I like it. So we've got an 8 watt little mini lamp USB powered and it's a meow lamp. It's meant to look like a puddy cat <laughs> So it's got your little on off button, it's got four little LEDs, 8 watt, these little mini lamps, they're normally 6 watt, so it's a little bit more powerful than uh, most of these mini lamps that you get. So I've just got four little average nail tips out, and all I'm using for this whole design, guys, is a dibber dabber. So I save my sponges, because they're not, I don't think they're cheap enough to be disposable, so I keep one for like red, green, blue yellow and i'm just getting any dust off they do look dirty they're actually clean and dry they're just stained so i use my lint roller to get all the dust off and i'm also going to be using a mixture of water decals and stickers these nail tips guys are the most beginner friendly designs you could do and literally i'm just going to use that sponge decals and stickers there's no fancy nail art um, nothing, super easy, super clean as well, we had no clean up apart from the sponges obviously So this first nail, again I'm just using my sponge and I'm going to completely cover it initially I'm going to do two coats of this orange, quite opaque as well I had so much fun doing these nails Two coats of that and these cure in the lamp for 30 seconds And then I'm just cleaning a little bit of it off. I'm just using a couple of lint-free wipes. Get as get as much of it off as possible. And then any lint that might be stuck on it, again, use your lint roller. So I did want a kind of yellow sun. But this yellow turned out to be pretty much the same as the orange I'd just used. So I've just mixed a bit of white in with it just to lighten it. I do quite a lot of mixing with the colours in, the, in these sets. Um, just get a palette out and mix the colours that you want So it doesn't need to be perfectly round So just bang that in the lamp for 30 seconds as well So I'm going to cut out this haunted house When you're using decals, cut them out as close to the image as you can get So you don't have a lot of overhang And always remember they've got a plastic film Get that off And I'm just going to put it face down on my stamper 
and dampen it up for about 20-30 seconds because this haunted house has got transparent windows I want I wanted it to look like they had lights like even though the nail was orange would have showed through I wanted them to be a brighter kind of orange just wanted them to be different so I'm just going to use the gel and colour in these little windows you can use gel for this if you're doing tiny bits of detail but if you're colouring in big areas I would use a stamping polish because it can get quite thick but little tiny detail like this yeah use a gel but you've got to cure that in the lamp now for 30 seconds so that's going to get stamped on the nail super easy and this little excess bit that I trim off here I save that and I put it on the next nail because <laughs> I'm a cheapskate <laughs> So I purposely put that haunted house a little higher up the nail so I can paint a little path. So I'm just using, oh I lied at the beginning of the video didn't I? I said I didn't use any brushes. <laughs> but you don't have to, this is just me being extra. I just wanted to paint a little path going up to that haunted house. And then I'm going to stick that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Again, I'm, this is extra, you really don't have to do it, but I'm using that yellow I used to do the sun. And I'm just doing some little clouds. Just little flat blobs. Yeah, just little flat blobs, that's how I'd describe them. And then that's going to get one last cure for 30 seconds. And then we're going to give it a quick matte top coat and that's that nail done. Super, super easy. So onto the second nail, I'm using blue and again I'm going to completely cover the nail in the blue and I'm going to do two coats of that as well. And on this nail I wanted a giant yellow sun but I didn't think the yellow would be opaque enough to go over this dark blue so I'm just doing it in white, curing that for 30 seconds and then I'm going to go over this with the yellow. And the yellow, I didn't like the colour of this yellow, it was a bit too bright. So again, I'm going to mix a little bit of white in with this yellow for the second coat. Just to make it a little bit lighter, I am so fussy. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do this with the dibber dabber a sponge like I did on the first nail. I have no clue. But yeah, you could definitely just use your sponge and dab a big white circle and then a big yellow circle. Instead of doing it like this the long way around. So yeah, I prefer that, a little bit lighter. And now I'm just doing some little white dots, teeny weeny little white dots, just to make it look like stars in the sky. So now this is that little bit that I snipped off that first nail that I saved. It's just like a little bit of a graveyard scene. And I'm gonna use these stickers like dead people's hands poking out the ground and stick that over it, snip off any excess and then I'm going to stick a witch on a broomstick in that sun and I'm going to stick a little bat and that is that nail done as well quick matte top coat in the lamp for 30 seconds easy peasy So these last nails very very quickly because the video is ticking on I'm using a grey, can't really see it on this nail but I'm using a grey and I'm just doing the middle part of the nail, I'm not doing the outside just the middle part, two coats and then I'm going to do like a mixing black with the grey I want it really dark around the edges of those nails so I'm going to cure that in the lamp and then I'm going to go in with a little bit more black and make it even more darker around them edges
and then again in with the stickers what do you call this guy is he called grim reaper i think he is isn't he grim reaper he's going to get stuck on the nail i'm going to stick a little bat on see how we have pet dogs he's got a pet skull with bat wings <laughs> that's that nail done guys quick mat top coat finished easy So quickly, this last nail, I needed a dark purple, which I didn't have. So I'm just going to mess about and mix some red and blue. And then it was a little bit dark, so I mixed a little bit of lilac. You can just have so much fun with these colours. I wanted this dark purple around the edges and then a lighter purple in the middle. So just keep layering it up. The good thing about these sponges, they put the layers on so, so thin. So you can layer it up and get it how you like it. So I'm just going to faff for a bit, let you watch. And this is going to have two stickers on and that is it. There we go guys, that is then finished. I mean, this is not, I wouldn't say this is a, a, a nail set of nails. It's just like four ideas, isn't it? I really like them though. I just think they've turned out so effective and they look like you're an amazing artist when they've literally took you 10 minutes. <laughs> I like them a lot, super easy. And these color cubes, they're so quirky, I love them. Anyway guys, that is it for today. I'll leave all links below. My discount code will be below. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and hopefully I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care, bye!